Oxidative damage is hugely important as you get older. In our mitochondria, we use oxygen because we have to. Uh, one to seven percent, roughly, um, be develops into what we call free radicals. Free radicals destroy cells. They destroy DNA, proteins, and lipids, especially bad in your brain because lipid peroxidation will cause significant brain damage. So we need something uh, that squelches basically all of the free radicals. Astaxanthin is a absolutely natural substance. It comes from algae that gets pissed off. As my kids say, is that the angry algae you want? I'm like, yes, yes, it is. So when algae gets mad, uh, why does it ma get mad? Oxidate or uh, something in the environment stresses it out, be it temperature, nutrient depletion, whatever have you. Uh, it creates this orange pinkish goo and that is astaxanthin and it's in all of the marine systems so it's in salmon it's in um like the uh the beaks of um of the, those pink birds ibises it's in quail eyes anything that's pink is, is astaxanthin um anyway so there is absolutely no downside to taking astaxanthin unless you have gout that's a problem but anyone else can absolutely take astaxanthin and what's really cool about it is if you have very pale skin and you're in the sun it blocks sun damage live on Miami beach. Um, we have a lot of sun. Um, I'm clearly translucent. Both of my daughters are very pale, especially my redhead. Uh, she doesn't do it as much as she used to, but she used to be outside all the time playing competitive tennis. And when she didn't take her astaxanthin, it was a disaster. So it basically, it, it gets into your system. Um, so there's adjuvants and there's supplements just as a, a yet another tangent. If you take something and your body already has it, it's a supplement. And the reason that that's important is your body has a way to get rid of it faster, right? Adjuvants don't necessarily have to go by the standard process of, of sort of being, being gotten rid of. Astaxanthin has a very long half-life. When you take it, it goes out to your mitochondria and it, it quelches free radicals. And it also quelches free radicals that derive from the sun, right? The sun actually creates free radicals that destroys your DNA. Uh, it causes inflammatory um, uh, issues in your cells. It also melts your DNA together into CP dimers, which are bad, which you can actually fix with something else. But again, that's a tangent. Um, anyway, it gets into the membranes of your mitochondria. It sits there, it sucks up free radicals, and then you excrete it 24 hours later. It has absolutely no side effects, which is amazing. Um, and it, it just blocks the inflammatory response, which means it blocks the sun damage and mm -hmm. protects your DNA. Mm -hmm. um, most people like the, the low dose is four milligrams. You can take up to eight, 16. There's really no limit. I started recently taking a liposomal, like, I think it's, I want to say it's 24 milligrams and I've had no side effects because there, there just aren't any. Um, if you're a teenager and you're like, you know, 70 some kilos, I would go with eight. Um, if you're out in the sun all the time, if you're a runner, if you have an outdoor job, um, then, then you can go with more, you know, tw 12 is fine. I just know that my myself and my two kids are going to be taking it every day for like a hundred years. So I buy it in massive bulk. And of course that reduces the price.